My name is Stephanie Grant, and I am the CEO and founder of Image Empowering. So I'm going to speak to you this evening from the other side of fashion. When um, our company works with clients, we get to see what they go through when they go to the dressing room, when they try clothes on. And uh, as Brittany had said, I've been in Las Vegas for 15 years, and I started my company seven years ago. And we've worked with a lot of the major hotels here in Las Vegas. We've worked with Caesars Palace, or Caesars Entertainment, uh, MGM Resorts, Four Seasons, and um, Centos, which is the uniform company that provides the majority of the uniforms that we see in, in a lot of our local casinos here. And so we've been really fortunate to work with these companies on personal image. How one dresses, because 78% of a person's confidence comes from how they feel about their outward appearance. Who is surprised by that? <laughs> is anyone surprised by that? So have you ever been having like a really bad day and like you just you have somewhere you have to be and maybe even like woke up. I'm sure I'm the only one that's ever woken up and, and just kind of woken up on the wrong side of the bed. Anyone ever have that happen? I'm the only one, great. So, however, when you get up and you get going and you put on that outfit, can it change your mood? Absolutely it can. And so this evening what I really wanted to speak to you about is the difference that fashion makes. Because I'm assuming that many of you are on the other side of fashion, either selling, retailing, manufacturing, or you know maybe even working for a company such as Zappos that provides the fashions to the consumer. And what I really want to share with you this evening is the difference that what you're doing makes. Because if you've ever been in a department store or if you've ever shopped in a department store or been one of those people that like, you know, goes through the department store grabbing stuff off the racks, ooh, that looks cute, ooh, that looks cute, and then you walk into the dressing room with a pile of clothes. Anybody done that? Yeah. Couple people. So you walk into the dressing room with all these clothes, right? And then you hang them all up, and then you try them all on, and it's like this long process, and then you walk out with like two things that actually fit. Anybody have that happen? So th those two things that fit. So when you have that experience, how do you feel when you leave that dressing room? Discouraged, sad, depressed, frustrated maybe? It's a, it can be a very frustrating experience for both men and women. And what we do is we teach people how to dress for their body type, such that when they go into a store, department store, or a boutique, they know what to look for. They can pick things up off the rack and know instantly if it's going to fit their body type or not. So then it makes the shopping experience such a delight because they can take all of these clothes into the, into the dressing room and be able to come out with 90% of things actually feeling great and looking great. Do you think that creates a different shopping experience? Absolutely it does. And so being in on the other side of the fashion industry is I would actually like to hear from a couple of you do you actually realize the difference that your garments, or if you're a retailer, do you actually realize the difference that these garments are making in individuals' lives? So you do realize. And what do you notice about that? What do you notice about the, the difference? They seem happier. They seem happier. Absolutely. What else? Feels like an Iron Man suit. I like that. Anything else? Confidence. Their confidence. Absolutely. So I think I'd said earlier, 78% of a person's confidence comes from their outward appearance. And so whether you're, you are manufacturing or you are selling or whatever it is that you're doing is you're that, that piece of the puzzle that's in between that just being a garment and that making a true difference in somebody's life. Because that garment could be the thing that lands them the job. You know, if they come in for something that is, um, you know, for maybe a job interview, or maybe they're going to meet a special client. 
I know sometimes when I have, you know, an individual or a client that I'm going to meet with, like I'll go buy a new outfit just to go have that meeting. Has anybody else ever done that? And so that could be the outfit or the garment that gets them their next big client. It could be, you know, a lot of the clients that we work with are in transition. So they may be tra transitioning up to a lot, uh, you know, maybe a bigger spot in their company or they're, you know, transitioning into the dating world or transitioning out of the dating world. And for, especially for men and women transitioning into the dating world, that garment could be the thing that helps them fall in love. It could be that that garment could be the connection, the way that they feel, the way that they show up in that garment could be the difference that it makes on that date. And so with fashion and being in this industry, at whatever level that you're at, I heard someone share that they are a college student. The one thing that I would leave you with is never, ever, ever, ever give up. Never give up on your store, never give up on your position if you're working with a company, never give up on your position with the company because you never ever know that what the difference that that, that what it is that you're doing and being on the other side of that and being a part of a lot of major corporations is seeing people transition and, and go up in their career based on their particular image. Um, Nevada Energy is our energy company here. And there was a gal who really wanted to move up. She worked in the customer service. She was on the phone all the time. And so she never really cared what she looked like. She, you know, always kind of dressed frumpy and, you know, thought nobody was paying attention to her. And so she didn't really care at all. And so when I started working with her, yet she, there was a supervisor position that she had been passed up for three times that, that, that they brought somebody else in. And so when we started working together, we just gave her a simple makeover, just some simple, you know, just dressed her up a little bit. We didn't put her in any kind of corporate suit by any stretch of the imagination. However, within three weeks of her makeover, she got a promotion within the company because people started to notice her. And so that's the difference that it makes. Um, we also worked with a client that uh, works in Washington for the government. And again, she had a desk position, never really cared what she looked like, didn't really put much effort into it. And so what I'm gonna suggest is, even if you have employees that you know work at desk jobs, encourage them to express themselves through their image because um, with this young lady, again, within a few weeks of her makeover, um, the, sh the government and the military works in ranks, and they actually created a position for her that was two ranks above where she actually was, wh where she actually was, and they had never done that before. And so if you're in the workplace, I really encourage you to encourage your employees and encourage the people around you to express themselves through their image because you know sometimes out in the real world or in, in, on the other side of things people can think that fashion or style can be superficial that you know oh it doesn't matter Is anybody ever met someone like that oh it just doesn't matter what I look like but it's an expression of who you are so if you're saying it doesn't matter what are you really saying about yourself that I don't matter? And is that really the message that you wanna share or that you want the people around you to be sharing? So share that message with them because they do matter. And so in wrapping up this evening, um, there's all kinds of statistics on uh, image. You know, an astounding 44% of women don't like to shop. Can you believe that? 44% of women don't like to shop. And it's because of the frustrating experience that we talked about earlier. So if we could make it a more enjoyable experience, would more women shop? Because they make up the majority of the marketplace as well. They spend, they spend more money than men do. And men just, you know, when men shop, it's more of a, a, a list. They have what they need, they typically go in, they find it, and they leave. Whereas women will gander around, which is why they end up spending more money in the marketplace. Um, I left some, I have some sheets that look, pardon me. So 
some sheets that look like this in the back. And they're just different statistics on image. Um, attractive people are trusted 69% more often. So in that, that image doesn't matter. That how you look will determine whether someone actually trusts you or not. So I put these in the back. There's just all different kinds of statistics with Fortune 500 companies and then some simple tips on how to dress your body type. And so I left those in the back for everyone. And um, you're welcome. <laughs> so uh, and just wrapping up again this evening is I'm very, very grateful to be here um, with the speaker series and being on the other side of fashion and actually working with the consumers. And the one thing that I did want to leave you with is that thing that you make a difference. That what, what you're doing, no matter what scale of the fashion that you're in, from manufacturing to bringing it to the consumer, is it, I, if I could just leave you with anything, is the real difference that it makes, that it could lead to someone getting a job. It could lead them to you know, their marriage in life. So um, if you're in college, always pursue your dream in that, because it does make a difference. Thank you. Awesome.